715 now. All month long, we have been following a local couple as they try to train their dog. Right there with you, children. Right there with you. They're getting help from our friends at Tucker Pups Dog Activity Center. So check out their recent progress. So tell me, what are some of the things that you guys want to work on with him today? He's very bad on the leash. Norman? When we're walking, if there's any sort of obstruction, whether it's an animal, another person, food, something on the ground, he goes right for it. Mm -hmm. um, whenever we're in an area where there's any sort of other person, other animal, just anything, he does not come when, he, when I ask him to. Norman, come. Norman, come. Mm -hmm. And finally, like, if we're just walking through, we have a bunch of nieces and nephews, and they're playing with toys, and they have food and things like that, and he just can't leave them alone. He won't just leave it sitting. Mm -hmm. So those three things are the main problem. Areas. Okay. So you'd like to really work on his leash walking and coming when called and also get a good leave it happening with him. Exactly. Great. Are you ready, Norman? The goal is that he learns that when we say leave it, he is to turn away from that, whatever it is that he's looking at. First, I'm going to try to just get him to turn away with a noise. Do this over and over and over again. Leave it. Yes. yes. Good boy. Good boy. That was really nice. You condition a head turn with the leave it, and you get a much, much, much better behavior. And then after lots of reps and you practice it, you then start just intermittently rewarding it. But you've got a nice, he knows what it means. It means turn away. So that he's actually turning on his own. Leave it. Yes. Good boy. I noticed that when you were calling him earlier, he wanted to explore the room and not really come over to you. So what you need to do is have a word that when he hears it, he wants to stop what he's doing, run past anything remotely interesting, and get to you as quickly as possible. Okay. Norman, come. Uh, yeah, nice. good boy. Yes, yeah, good boy. One of you guys are going to show him a toy, get him all excited about the toy. You can use food for this one as well. You're going to swipe it across his nose, get him really excited. You're going to start running away, and then you're going to call him. Norman, come. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Run up to him and help him out. Good. Good boy. Good boy, yes. Norman, come. Come on, come on, come on. Yes! Good, good boy. boy! Okay guys, so we worked on come when called, we worked on some leave -its. we also worked on a couple of different walking exercises. All of those take a lot of practice. And you want to practice it in different areas, in different environments, and make sure that when you're getting the behavior, you're also rewarding it, because that's what's going to make it stronger. And you should start seeing progress. So you want to keep working on it. And you guys did a fabulous job today. Right, Norman? You going to be a good boy? Yeah. He's shaking his little tail. Man, we could learn a lot from that. You can learn more about Tucker Pups Dog Activity Center by visiting them in person or online. All the information is right there on your screen. Mm -hmm. So it is time for us to check the weather. Mm -hmm. It's Seven. coming.